Hello everybody. Today we'll take an, a new part in organic chemistry, which is the stereochemistry of some addition reactions. Under this topic, we'll see example uh, of addition reactions on alkenes, and we'll see the stereochemistry of these reactions, addition reactions on alkenes. First example, addition of HBr on alkene, which is Markovnikov addition. If he has one butene, add HBr. As we said before, Markovnikov addition, proton positive will attack first the bi bond. And open by bond and form the most stable carbocation according to Markovnikov rule. So, proton will enter first carbon to form secondary carbocation, which is more stable position, and then bromide attacks this position and enter in the secondary carbon. So. First step, as we know before, that alkenes are planar, Sp2 carbon, planar. So these four bonds are on the same plane. This is, this is a plane, all bonds in the same plane. And the perpendicular on this plane are bi bonds. The B orbitals of the bi bond are perpendicular on this plane. So first, proton attack by bond either from up or down and enter in the terminal carbon to give the most stable carbocation position in the, in the secondary carbon, which will have a higher number of alpha hydrogens. So H will enter on CH2 to form CH3. Then carbocation formed on secondary carbon. Carbocation is SCP2 carbon. Means it's still planar. These three bonds on the same plane. And the perpendicular on the plane is the B orbital. This B orbital is vacant orbital of the carbocation. Then second step, bromide act as nucleophile attack from up or down so you will have two possibilities have the same probability so you will have 50 percent s and 50 percent r isomers formed because both uh, attack from up or down have the same probability and this is the first example of uh, addition reaction on alkene and the stereochemistry of addition reaction will form racemic mixture one to one is and are uh, isomers so these are two in antimers one to one mixture another example hydrogenation reduction of alkene in, in presence of metal catalyst example we have this alkene when add hydrogen in presence of metal catalyst metal like platinum nickel and so on so metal catalyst like that this is a metal catalyst make adsorption of hydrogen gas on its surface so hydrogen is attached on the surface of the metal catalyst so the two hydrogen atoms will attack the alkene and make reduction from the same phase as we know before that alkene is planar so attack is seen addition from the same direction 
So the two hydrogen atoms enter from the same phase. So the structure will be like that. So in addition may occur from this phase or from the up phase, down phase or up phase because alkene is planar. So reduction from down or up. So you have here two possibilities for formation of reduction. So you may have isomerism. I will draw the alkene uh, in the vertical line like that. This is in front and this back. This methyl. This acyl. And second carbon you have methyl front and acyl in the back. This is E or Z isomer. So the priority for each carbon acyl is has priority. So the two acyl groups the same direction. So this will be Z. Now I will make a reduction using halogen metal catalyst. So metal may attack from this face or from the other face. So you have two possibilities. This probability not A and this probability B. So you have A and B probabilities. First, we'll see A, that attack from the right. We'll draw the structure in the same way as before. Missile, front, SL, back, SL, back. And on the paper, two hydrogen from the same direction from right. So this is the first probability. This is the first isomer formed from attack from right. The second probability B attack from left. The same, all groups will have the same direction again. So H and H from left and you will still missile front and SL back. So SL back and the missile front. So missile front and SL back. SL back. SL back. Okay. So this is the first probability, and this is the second probability attack from right and attack from left. As we said before, Fisher projection formula like that. What's the meaning of this? This means that up and down, back to the viewer right and left front like that up and down back right and left up this is fisher so these two compounds i want to draw these two compounds as a fisher look at the first one this is acid back and acid back so fisher now is is good in the good direction because carbon is on on the vertical line so this compound will be drawn like that so sl sl the back and you have h and missile h right missile 
left up h right messy left so this is the feature projection formula of this compound number e let's draw feature for the durability b as the same you have two acid group on the back and right missile left edge right missile left edge so it will be drawn a special like that missile left right edge left missile right edge left SL up SL down so what's the relation between these two isomers they are in and tumors mirror image to each other and not super impossible no they are not in antimus because you have line of symmetry cut each compound to equal halves so this compound this or this compound are the same they are a chiral molecule so this is one compound, not two compounds. This is called the meso compound. One compound only. There is no mirror image. It is a chiral. Again, we started by the isomer, which is symmetric alkene. By adding a halogen metal catalyst, so seen addition occur right or left right will give this uh, compound and left will give this compound these two compounds are the same compound because of presence of linear symmetry so they are the same compound So, sin addition by hydrogenation with the catalyst on Z will form meso isomer. Also, in chemistry, there is another naming, common name. If you have this compound like that, and you have H here. And the chlorine, for example. So this carbon, which has purity H or OH, OH, and this carbon, which has purity chlor or H, chlor. So these two groups in the same direction, to the right. So this isomer called erythro isomer. Erythro isomer. The second one chlor left right and which left this isomer is called three U isomer. These are a common name before and R and S system. So we, we they call the, if you have two groups in the same direction erythro and if one right one left called three o so in scene addition by hydrogenation of of the of the alkene will produce erythro erythro isomer Erythro meso. So reduction with metal and uh, metal catalyst and hydrogen of Z alkene, symmetric alkene, would use erythro meso iso. If you have the trans isomer of the same alkene, C2H5 from right and methyl on front. 
C2H5 front and missile on the back. This is the E isomer. If we do the same by a metal catalyst and hydrogen, you have two possibilities from right or left. The same. This is the probability A and the probability B. Let's see what, what will be the product. So first probability A So to H seen addition from right. You have here missile back and here SL back front missile here and the front here SL. Okay, this is the probability A. We see probability B, H and H from left. What is the back? C3 and the back C2H5. Front C2H5. Front missile. <coughs> These are the two isomers formed by metal addition of hydrogen using metal catalyst on. E alkene. We convert H1 to fissure. And convert it to fissure. So this is H5. Mesel. H SL Mesel H is first one second one H H5 Mesel C to H5 H H CH3 These are the two isomers formed by thin reduction in fissure, carbon skeleton must, must be on vertical line. So, SL must be on vertical line, not missile. So, I want to move missile instead of, of missile. So, I will make rotation. Fix one group and make rotation. So, fix first carbon up and make rotation to these three groups. So by rotation, the uh, the up carbon still the same, it's fixed, and now may still here, so still here, and missile go to right, so missile go to right, H go to left, H go to left. This is the right fissure projection formula for this isomer. The second one, I want to convert this one the same to fissure. So it must go instead of missile and the missile instead of H and H instead of SL rotation. So this is the, the up carbon still the same fixed. So SL will go instead of missile and missile go instead of H and H instead of SL. Okay, so this is the right feature for this isomer. What is the relation between this isomer and this isomer? If you look, so they are mirror image to each other so they are two in antimers
this is three u or this row this is the right this is left so this is three u isomer okay so sin hydrogenation of alkene if alkene is symmetric z isomer will form meso compound erythro meso but in e isomer will form racemic mixture three u in antimers the mixture one to one racemic mixture another example halogenation of alkene for example bromine and carbon tetrachloride so it actually will be anti addition not sin addition anti addition So first step formation of cyclic bromonium ion then bromide attack as nucleophile from right or from left and this will form two different isomers. Anti-addition occur because second bromide attack from uh, down. So the product will be, for example, if bromide attacks from right, so bromide open from right, so it would form anti-addition like that. And this is anti-addition. One down, one up. For example, if I have this alkene, this is a large group here and here, so the same direction. So this is Z to butene. Now I will add bromine and carbon tetrachloride. So first step, attack of by electron on one brom and the release of bromide. So we'll form first step, cyclic bromonium. Okay. Then second step bromide release in the reaction this bromide will attack as nucleophile from backside from this side or this side this carbon or this carbon to give two probabilities A and B. Let's see each one. First one probability A. So brom, this is a brom will attack from A direction on this carbon. And second one will be released like that. So it will be in this direction. Okay. So now H front and, and, and the back is missing, still back missing. 
okay here also the same h front so h front missile back so missile still back okay this is probability a probability b br attack from this, at this carbon and open second carbon like that so we are attacking this carbon and the module attack or release like that so this bomb in here and the second from the, on the other carbon like that and above H and the back missile and here above H and the back missile okay so I want to convert each one to fissure so here all carbon skeleton in the back so this is according to fissure is okay so missile here missile here all missile in the back H right BR right H right BR left above BR right H left so this is first isomer probability A second one and covert to fissure also this is missile missile BR right H left H right BR left So this is the second isomer. What is the relation between these two isomer? If you look, they are two in antimers. Mirror image to each other. So these two in antimers. And the product here would be a uh, stereo isomer. Again, we we'll start bromination in carbon tetrachloride to Z alkene. So the reaction occurs as anti addition. And the product will be two stereo in antimers. One to one as a symmetric mixture. So Z form a symmetric mixture. If we start the reaction with E isomer, so this is E isomer. And go in the same way, bromine carbon tetrachloride anti addition. The same will occur. So we have to prove it. We are here and here, or the reverse. We are here and here. These are the two possibilities. So I will draw now the two possibilities. Missile. H. This BR. Second BR. This H. And the back missile. This is the first probability. The second probability. We are right, second one left. And the up missile and the back edge. 
and here up H and the back missile okay now we want to convert this to isomer to Fisher this H missile H back and the missile back so back will be on vertical line and right and left on horizontal line and above and up carbon broom right H left this is the first item second one H down and the missile, missile down so this will be the fissure broom right missile left H right broom left So in fissure, carbon schedule much must be on vertical line. So we want to make rotation like that. Missile instead of H, H instead of broom, broom instead of missile. So missile will be here. H will be left. Broom will be right. Okay. BR right, BH left. Okay. Second one rotation to bring missile on vertical line. So missile H right, broom left. After rotation. H will be here. Brom will be left. H missile will be down. Okay. If you look at these two compounds, what's the relation between these two compounds? They are two in antimonies. No. You are not doing antimers because you have to uh, plane of symmetry here. So this compound is a chiral. It is meso compound, a chiral compound. It's only one compound. Can't be two compound. So these two structures are the same compound. So they are the same compound. It's only one compound, not two compound. So, hydrogenation with bromine carbon dioxide make anti addition. If you start with E alkene, symmetric E alkene, it will form a meso compound. Must be symmetric alkene not a symmetric alkene so if you have symmetric alkene e isomer will form a meso compound the same occur on alkenes if you want syn hydroxylation or anti hydroxylation if you have alkene like that and 
Presen Birmingham it called dilute Presen Birmingham it dilute make sin hydroxylation. So two hydroxyl groups will enter from the same direction. So this will be the same like hydrogenation in metal catalyst. Syn hydroxylation will be the same like syn hydrogenation. Hydrogenation the same like syn hydrogenation. So this is the isomer. So the isomer will form meso compound. So the product will be like that. Have linear symmetry. So this is meso compound. One compound only. Because it is a chiral compound. Optically inactive. Okay. So, syn hydroxylation will form meso compound on the alkene. So, it will be the same like hydrogenation, like metal. Hydrogenation, syn hydroxylation, like syn hydrogenation. If you use e alkene, not the alkene, e. So this will form two in antimals, like what we said in hydrogenation. Hydrogenation, syn hydrogenation on E alkene, form two in antimals. So you have two possibilities: two hydroxyl go from right or left, syn addition, right or left. So we form two in antimers. And the mirror image. These, these are the products of syn hydroxylation on E alkene. So these are two in antimers, three U in antimers. These are two three U in antimers. By using E isomer. So E alkene with syn hydroxylation will form two in antimers, two three U in antimers. The second one is anti hydroxylation, which occur in two steps. If you start with Z uh, alkene. So first step in anti hydroxylation presence of beer acid O O H you have extra option here. This is beer acetic acid. Second step water 
in presence of acid medium. So first step, their acids will form a bauxite. Epoxide. Then, second step, water molecule will attack as nucleophile by its lone electron. Either attack on this carbon or on this carbon. So you will have two possibilities. First, the potential occurs to option for activation and then attack of water if from this carbon will open like that, if from this carbon will open like that. So, you will form anti hydroxylation and give isomerism. Like bromination. In bromine you have cyclic bromonium and then bromide attack from back the same like that but in this in this action instead of brom it will be two hydros instead of two bromide it will be two hydros but the same mechanism and the same product as we said in bromination if you start with Z alkene For example, if you start with, the, with this example, the alkene by beer acid. CCO O O H beer acid first step second step water in acid medium this will form two isomers anti hydroxylation This is the first isomer. And this is the second isomer. And these two isomers are mirror image to each other. They are two in antiomers. Two stereo in antiomers. Racemic mixture. One to one. This, if you start with Z alkene with anti hydroxylation, if you start with E alkene, not Z, so E will form anti hydroxylation, will form meso compound because it has been of symmetry, so you will form meso erythro meso compound, a chiral. It is the same like anti hydrocation like anti bromination and hydrogenation. The same mechanism and the same steps. So it is the same product. The same method for anti bromination is the same method for anti hydroxylation. Mm -hmm. 
so sin addition sin addition of hydrogenation is like sin hydro hydroxylation will give the same results bromination is anti so anti hydroxylation is like anti bromination Now we'll go again to the slides. Addition of halogen to alkene. The same again. Cis alkene will give only erythro in anhydrous. If they are symmetric, alkene. This Z alkene will join with metal catalyst. Will make sin addition. So will form product meso compound. If in addition on trans alkene, e alkene, trans e alkene, will form three in antimony. This e will form three in antimers, two in antimers. Why is it called because the large groups one right on left? So this is Rio in antimers. These two groups in the same direction, so it's called the Iris row. So this is Iris row is one. The second addition. Is addition of halogens, which is anti addition. So Z two butene will form three or a cement mixture of two antimers. So you have a cement mixture of the two antimers if you start from symmetric Z alkene. While in presence of E butene will form meso erythro. So anti addition with E will form meso compound, and this is erythro meso. Why it is meso? Because it has no symmetry. Plain of symmetry. Cut the compound into two equal halves. So they are the same compound. Sin hydroxylation. So sin hydroxylation like sin hydrogenation. So Z2 butene will give erythro meso. So this Z2 butene. Was called the rubin manganate <coughs> will make sin hydroxylation on the same direction, right or left. So it will form the same compound. This is meso compound, only one compound because presence of plane of symmetry. This is a retro meso. If you start with E isomer, with sin hydroxylation, will form a cement mixture, two in antimers, one to one ratio. So this will be three U racemic mixture. This is three U. So these are mirror image to each other. They are two in antimers. One to one issue, so this is a racemic mixture. So if sin hydroxylation on E in E butene will form racemic mixture. Anti hydroxylation of alkene by using two steps bare acid and then water acid medium. If you start with Z. 
protobutene will form racemic mixture CU racemic mixture two steps bare acid and then water acid medium or alkaline medium alone will produce two in antimers while anti-hydroxylation with E isomer will produce erythromyzo compound only one compound will be formed due to presence of linear symmetry so it's only one compound okay so if we put all this information in a table addition of HBR Antion type anti orsin maybe from up or down the same probability so you may form anti orsin so if you start from E or Z both of them would form racemic mixture if you start from E or Z both of them would form racemic mixture by addition of HVR Hydrogenation in presence of metal catalyst, so it will be seen hydrogenation. If you start with E or Z, we form erythro meso. If E, it will form CU and antimers. So, seen hydroxylation will be the same like hydrogenation, E is the same. Z is the same, S from ESO, S from ESO. E and E is the same, serial antimus, serial antimus. Okay, so it's seen the, the same. Anti also the same. Anti, anti, anti. So bromination and anti hydroxidation by beer acid followed by water acid medium. Or from anti hydroxylation so anti bromination Z will form a serial antimus. It is the reverse of seen, it is the reverse. So Z here forms serial antimus, E form a resromizo. The same here, Z serial antimus, E a resromizo. So this table is very important that collected all the information about anti and sin addition on alkene okay these are some challenging questions Draw Fisher projection formula of the stereo isomers produced by the action of E and Z to butene. These are two compounds. 1 to dimethyl cycloxine, 1 acyl to methyl cycloxine. So each one of these two of these three compounds you will uh, make a selection with HBR or bromine or cold dilute bromanganate or bare acid then uh, water acid medium or bromine water. And in each reaction, produce a product and we draw Fisher projection for these products. So you have here E, Z, 1, 2, 1, S. So you have here four compounds will be uh, reacted with five reagents. And also to detect the relation between the produced stereoisomers. If they are in antimals, the stereoisomers, meso, 
the same compound you must detect the relation between the products in each reaction. Thank you and I wish you a good luck.